All right, guys, looks like we got some Election Day bracking news. Max Frost, who is a representative from Florida's 10th District, he has now set records. Uh, he has set another record. If you know that actually the squad and the progressives have been the ones setting all the records with first Muslim, you know, representative, first, you know, woman Muslim, and you know, all of this other stuff, youngest, etc. And so Maxwell Frost is only 25 years old. That's actually, if you guys don't know, that's actually the constitutional requirement to even run for being a House representative. So he's actually literally at like literally the bottom point that there is to be a federal uh, House representative. So that's, I mean, that's the first year, 25, 25 for House, 34 Senate, 35 for President. So he's coming in. He's the first ever Gen Z uh, representative. Uh, that has been voted in so he has absolutely uh, set history this is a big deal picking up a seat and actually when I first saw the news I didn't realize actually how big of a deal this is uh, because this is a he's won the he's actually won the election um, so he's in the Florida's 10th district you can see this here on the right is where the results are Max Frost 17,835 votes 34.3% uh, uh, Randolph Bracey, 12,931 votes, 24.9%. 12, Alan Grayson, remember Alan Grayson, he ran in this race too. 8,081 votes, 15.5%. Uh, and some other uh, re uh, representatives running also. A lot of, a, lo a pretty healthy election. You can see a lot of elections you see are just like two candidates with all the votes. Uh, whereas you can see there's multiple candidates with like good amount of votes. And, you know, it's cool to see. Uh, but it has indeed been called for Maxwell Frost. So we will see a... It's at 99% of the votes counted, so it's over. And this is a blue district. This district is blue. And so uh, no matter what, and you can just see how many voters there are in the election. There's many more Democratic voters. So uh, it's a really huge deal because this means effectively, even though, again, like I said, today is the primary, but effectively it's the general election for a lot of these races simply for the fact that, you know, based on the makeup of these races, only one of the parties can actually win. So getting another progressive in the House is always a big deal. You got younger people being represented with a, you know, 25-year-old progressive coming into the House. So very, very exciting. Bernie Sanders endorsed and uh, some of the New York stuff elections that we're actually watching live right now is pretty interesting. So very interesting to see and uh, will be really interesting to see how this plays out.